everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new around here. My name is Austin and I am a beauty and style content creator based here in New York City. Last week's product review video was all about the new Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara, so definitely go give that a watch if you haven't seen it yet. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about another recent launch, and it is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. If you've been here for a while, you might remember a video I did a while back, basically doing a dupe video for the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which is obviously a very hyped up product, and I wanted to see if it would compare to the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. So I have a whole video about that that I can link down below for you to check out. So when they came out with the concealer, I was super excited because I am a fan of the foundation and I wanted to share some thoughts with you guys. Before I get into today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and stick around. If you're new here, you can expect new videos from me on this channel every Sunday and give this video a big thumbs up down below if you find it useful. So I first, of course, heard about this product from the queen, Alana Davison. If you guys aren't subscribed to her or you don't know who she is somehow, uh, you should definitely go check her channel out. It is my go-to place for all things beauty. And she was trying out this product that Lucky Her, the Hourglass team sent to her. I actually picked this one up from Sephora with my own because I was super curious after seeing what she had to say about it. Very similar to the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, the idea behind the Vanish Airbrush Concealer is to really give you a brightening and kind of blurring and just all around full coverage but still glowy and beautiful looking look for your concealer. I'm going to insert some footage of me applying the concealer from earlier so you can really see the product in action. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of do this cutaway to show you guys in real time how I'm using the concealer. So quickly first, I put on my base products, this uh, First Aid Beauty Primer, Kevin Aquan Glass Glow, and my It Cosmetics CC Cream. No surprise, this is like my current go-to combination of stuff. And here is the concealer. So again, Hourglass Concealer. I have the shade Fawn, which is different from my shade in the Vanish Stick Foundation. They're all different names, so just keep that in mind if you're looking for your shade. So I have a slightly damp beauty blender. Just gonna go ahead and apply it. Doe foot applicator, pretty standard. And so I've just been applying this under my eyes and on any kind of problem spots or breakouts, usually around my chin. Who else feels me on that? Just gonna take the beauty blender and start to blend in. I always take a little bit very lightly on my eyelids as well, just for kind of consistency. And there you go. You can see that it just sits so beautifully on top of my foundation, or I guess my base product. It's really more of a CC cream, but it also looks really seamless over breakouts, so I definitely feel like this has been a very like all-in-one kind of concealer for me, whereas some just work better for under eyes and some work better for breakouts. So as I mentioned in the cutaway, the most confusing part about buying this product for me was the fact that it seems as though the foundation stick shades and the concealer shades are all different names, which is honestly super not helpful. I had to literally go back, find my hourglass dupe video that I made a while ago just to even see what my original shade was so that I could find something that maybe was going to be a close bet. Just to kind of fill you in for the Vanish Stick Foundation, just naming some of the lightest shades, there's Blank, Cream, Alabaster, Porcelain, Bisque. And then naming the lightest shades for the concealer, we've got Birch, Cream, Cotton, Silk, why are they not the same? I don't know. There are also fewer shades of the concealer. It looks like there are 22 shades of the concealer, but there are actually 32 shades of the foundation. So I would definitely recommend using the shade finder on Sephora or the Hourglass website, or actually just going into the store to get color matched because I find that otherwise, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly what your shade is. I know you also usually want to potentially go maybe a shade lighter for your concealer if you're looking for it to brighten the under eye area, but again, this like really doesn't make it any easier. 
going past the names and moving on to the product itself this is what it looks like so it comes in this little tube here and it is 0.2 ounces of product or six milliliters which i guess is pretty standard for concealer this concealer is priced at 34 dollars so i think that could make someone be on the fence about whether or not they're actually wanting to invest into this product um i know for me when the girl rang me up at sephora i bought this and i bought the fenty mascara i reviewed last Last week and it was like and it was like $60 and I was like where did this $60 just go I don't fully understand but anyway let's get into the product claims so what is the product it is a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with microspherical powders that blend blur and brighten for up to 16 hours of skin perfection pretty major claims but it is coming from hourglass which is a brand i trust a lot so it says it's a full coverage concealer with a natural finish the formula is obviously liquid and under skin type it says normal dry combination and oily so it sounds like this should work for whatever your skin type is for reference i tend to have normal to dry skin so i end up a little bit on the drier side of the spectrum so know that when i'm talking about my experience with the concealer that's kind of my skin background is free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, and contains less than 1% synthetic fragrances. The product is also vegan and cruelty free. So it says it's crease resistant and the blurring powders in it will diffuse fine lines and just make it really beautiful and even coverage. Overall verdict is that I absolutely love this concealer, which is no surprise because pretty much all of the other Hourglass products I've tried have also been a big home run for me. I'm coming in a little bit closer to the camera just so you can kind of get a sense of the coverage on my face right now. So although it says it is crease proof, I find that Pretty much every concealer creases somehow a tiny bit, so you can see it here, but honestly, I just kind of pat it into my skin and it goes away. But the area under my eyes is absolutely brightened. It looks glowy, it looks beautiful. It mixes in perfectly with my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which is my go-to everyday foundation. And even for my more problem areas, kind of down by my chin is where I tend to break out a little bit. I love that the breakouts, you know, you can still see them a tiny bit, and that's just because I'm not someone who likes to layer on a ton of concealer. I'd rather, you know, I'm okay with skin texture, and I don't mind someone knowing that I have a zit. I would just like it to be primarily covered as much as possible, and also to not see any redness coming through, because that's what really bothers me about breakouts. But here, you can see that the product, like, really doesn't cake over them or anything it really does just cover and make them not as noticeable as they would be had I not used this product I definitely get the blurring effect which is kind of an hourglass staple of their brand especially with the vanish stick foundation as well and I just honestly think it looks amazing <laughs> relative to some of my other go-to concealers the Tarte Shape Tape is priced at $25 Glossier stretch concealer is $18 and then this is $34 so that is a pretty significant jump in price for me but I think I'm okay with this kind of being my one splurge in the concealer department. I think that if I were to pay $34 for 0.2 ounces of product for concealer, it would be on this one. All right, you guys, and those are my thoughts on the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Let me know what you think about this product. Will you be trying it out for yourselves? Are you the kind of girl who likes to spend $34 on a concealer occasionally, maybe like once every six months? Let me know everything in the comments down below, and if you have any additional questions about this product that I didn't answer in the video, drop them down there too, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Once again, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and sticking around. I put out new videos every Sunday and I'm always excited when new people join my little community here on YouTube. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in your purchasing decision for the Hourglass Concealer. Thanks again for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys next Sunday for another new video. Bye! Why can't we fly?